Well, oh, there's a whole bunch with them too. Yeah, I popped over to the opposite side of the creek and you know, this is where there's more direct wind blowing down. It's still not blowing real hard, but you know, this is where you wanna be. And the other thing here too is the addition of that timber is just that many more places for the fish to hide. So you can, you know, you can pull them off. They're gonna be off this ledge rock on the bank. It's a steeper bank, but a lot of them are gonna be out in this timber. You know, it looks like it ought to be real deep right here, but you know, I'm only sitting in 12 foot of water here. There's kind of a couple little flatter points that stair step out. But with this timber on here and the wind blowing on here, it, it should be a lot better. I mean, immediately, like my third or fourth cast, once we moved across here, bam. And that fish had several more swimming with him right along. So, you know, when you see them grouped like that, they're not gonna, that's not gonna be the only little wolf pack on this shore. The other thing I, you know, I'm a big believer in, uh, and running the hydro wave and when you get wind and stuff like this that's that's where you want to up your volume a little bit you know you got a lot of wind noise overpowering the sound that's coming out of the speaker so you know it's it's not super windy right now but it's a time where i'm going to run mine up to you know 50 percent I, I tend to run mine a little quieter than uh, what a lot of people i know do but I, I like mine to be natural you know i want the sound to be natural for the day you know, if the wind was just honking, say it's blowing 25, 30 mile an hour, I crank it up and run it continuous, you know. Oh gosh, I just missed one. You know, I, you're rolling down the bank high speed with the troll motor and the wind's pushing you in that. You, you want to have that sound there so that as you go by pods of bait fish and you go by pods of fish, that they're going to hear that. And, and that's really what it does more than anything is it, it, it doesn't make the bass bite, but it, they hear that sound of the bait fish, they hear the sound of bass eating bait fish, and it, it moves them, you know, it'll, tr it'll make the bait nervous, you'll see the bait come up. I've seen time and time again where you can pull bait off the bottom or bait that's suspended up towards that speaker, you know, and when you move the bait, it gets the bass's attention. It's kind of, kind of like this, all over, like that. Maybe kind of like if you kind of steady, and if you pop it a little bit, you know, there's no way I'm gonna do that. I believe it's like this. Yeah, it's kinda like this. It's like this. Then it's going like this. No way. Kinda like this. <laughs> the sexy swimmer, it's got action you can't believe until you see it. I'm kinda liking this.